Young Corpse TV, we're back with a very special crack and pack video today. Corset 2020 is here. Uh, we're checking out two boosters and some promo packs after the break. So I think in order to get started, I wanted to break out the fresh play mat. I wanted to give a shout out to Loading Ready Run. Um, I picked this up at MF Seattle. I went down basically uh, with the Hate and Salt Popper crew. We went and stayed at Airbnb, did magic the whole weekend, kind of just for more or less saw what Seattle had to offer. It was pretty sweet. Didn't get a chance to really deep dive too much into the Seattle area, but uh, checked out the festival uh, like Saturday, Sunday, and we boned out Monday. It was a lot of fun. So I wanted to break out the sexy new mats. Um, got two packs of Corset 2020. Hopefully that's in frame. We have two promo packs from Corset 2020 and one promo premium pack from Corset 2020. For each, um, I believe these break down as these are just regular cards. These are foils and uh, these are booster packs from the Planeswalker packs. Now I got these packs from a buddy of mine. Um, I believe the way that you can kind of go about earning these is uh, in-store events, depending on your LGS, you can do different things to earn these packs. So just to kind of really quickly dive in, um, we'll start with the Corset 2020 packs first, and I won't spend too much time on this video, but I kind of wanted to jump in and crack some packs and see what these new things are looking like. So I'm kind of excited for the tokens, the Corset 2020 opening experience. We'll go ahead and experience this together. Um, I'll slow roll it, kind of, because I'm kind of just excited for these new cards. Um, currently, this is uh, Monday, July 1st. Um, I'm not, unfortunately, partaking in the streamer event. I really wanted to. Um, it's about 7 o'clock right now, and um, I'm going to kind of get my laptop going. I'm going to install the update. It's just not enough time to stream. Um, streaming is coming soon. So I, I'm not partaking in that, but I wanted to get some Core 2020 action in nonetheless. So we got the Epicure of Blood, Raise the Alarm. Now immediately I'm sensing these packs are like the Battle Bond vibe a little bit. It feels waxy, it feels like a totally different paper stock. So I think that's uh, worth noting. Fire Elemental and Scuttle Mutt. So first pack, uh, Scuttle Mutt's three drop. Tap, add mana of any color. Tap, creature becomes color or color of your choice till end of turn. Okay, good way to get around uh, protection in this set. Uncommon number two, Master Splicer. Splicers are back. Won't spend too much time on the uncommons because let's just get to the goods, right? Flood of Tears, four and two blue sorcery. Feels a little bit expensive. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. If you return four or more non-token permanents, you control this way. You may, okay, so this is basically a um, cyclonic rift in standard again. And you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So we have the treasure token, full art treasure tokens. I think these are a nice touch. On the back, we're getting some uh, some verbiage and stuff. Tokens are sweet. Love the new tokes. Um, basically, in basic lands. You, I don't know if you're getting the dual land in every uh, in every land slot for fixing, but uh, flood of tears feels pretty good. Pack one. We'll take it. Uh, Core set 2020 is everybody partaking in pre-release. I look forward to it. It's coming up. I'm looking forward to at least partaking in two. Uh, Shock is back. Yeah, these cards feel way different. Even on the back, it's just so like, I don't know, it's like waxy, it's glossy. Gift of Paradise is back. Uh, okay, so I didn't count. I don't know if we got a foil in this pack or not. Diviner's Lockbox. Artifact 4. One and tap. Choose a card name, then reveal the top card of your library. If that card has the chosen name, sacrifice Lockbox, draw three cards, activate this ability anytime you do a sorcery. Hmm. Not bad. God's Willing, I've seen that before. Familiar friend and rare after the Siege Breaker is, keep it in focus. Chandra Awakened Inferno. The struggle continues. I'm loving the Jundamout flame in the backdrop. It feels very fitting. Um, this is a great Planeswalker. This spell cannot be countered. Uh, you're plus two. Each opponent gets an emblem with, at the beginning of your upkeep, the emblem deals one damage to you. Uh, I'm an EDH player, tried and true. I believe those stack. Um, you're getting an emblem on your plus two. Um, you get this out turn six. You know, I... Uh, Optimally earlier, you're hitting that once or twice a game. I mean, that alone is worth playing. Minus three, Chandra. Awakened Inferno deals three damage to each non-elemental creature. 
uh, board wipe. I mean, you're plusing two automatically. You're probably gonna get that board wipe off once or twice. And the minus. Minus X, Chandra Awaken Inferno deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker. Uh, if a permanent is dealt damage this way, would die this turn exile instead. So just all around great mythic planeswalker, no foil, no duel, and basically another full art look at the tokens. So these tokens are absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Great touch. And are you kidding me? Man! I don't know if that's like a money, like the money hit, but I think that's like a $15 bill right there. Uh, the planeswalker whisperer continues. Um, we're just getting these hits, right? Hits on cam. I feel like Flood of Tears is going to be a good hit. I don't know right now. I'm thinking this is like a three to five dollar card um, with legs. So that's pretty sweet. So those are the two packs I slow rolled. Let's go ahead and check out these promo packs. Dope. So uh, promo packs, like I said, you're gonna get for in-store events depending on what your LGS decides to do. Uh, regular promo packs, you're getting four cards. Um, no guaranteed foils. I don't know if you can or cannot get foils in these packs. However, you're getting four guaranteed foils in the premium promo pack. Uh, with both of these, um, I've seen a few openings already, and uh, people are opening alternate art planeswalkers. So I think that's why these are so expensive. Um, I saw one of these, uh, I think it's super early. Um, the eBay listings for these are a little bit obnoxious right now, but I feel they're that they're that expensive because there's an opportunity for foil planes walkers so let's put some good juju in there and let's check out these core packs so uh support your local game store guys that's pretty much how you're going to get these and then one thing that you are going to notice as well is uh this gold symbol insignia it's kind of like watermarked on the base cards i feel uh, i've seen other cards that don't have that so let's see what we get here awesome so yeah your alternate art frasca planeswalker does not have that gold symbol this is a non-foil it's a pretty sweet card. It's like a five, six dollar bill. Love it. Sweet uh, promo negate, promo pack, basically non foil version, but you're getting that Magali artwork um, special box. Those are sweet, and <laughs> another another flood of tears. Um, hopefully that's a good card, but we do have the gold stamp, so I don't know if there's like a difference in the printing quality, opposed to the waxiness of this uh, impact core twenty version. I don't know if you can even pick these up, but. I mean, I'm kind of like a graphic designer, paper guy, so I don't know. I'm sensing a severe difference in the Core 20 base packs. So that's pretty sweet. Flood of Tears. Hopefully that's a money hit. So uh, we'll foil up the rest later and uh, move on to promo pack two. My obnoxious OCD sleeving skills. Um, with a five pack video, I mean, I, you know, we'll stretch it to 10 minutes, right? <laughs> we'll make these obnoxiously long. Hopefully not too much, so. Another forest, promo pack forest, and all they, they, they all do have the promo pack verbiage. There we go, that's pretty sweet. Tetsamok Primal Death, um, I did not get any of these in Rivals of Ixalan. Uh, it's a very strong card, you know, black dinos are always fun. Corpse Knight for the Young Corpse channel, pretty good card. I've noticed a lot of these being opened in these packs. It's an M20 Uncommon, and Night Pack Ambusher. Two and two green, flash, other wolves and werewolves you control get plus one one at the beginning of your end step. If you can didn't cast a spell this turn, create a two two green wolf creature token. Okay. You know, that's not immediately jumping out to me as awesome. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the promo pack. So let's get some good luck, get some good juju in here, and uh, you know, catch you guys on the other side. Stay tuned for a lot more things coming up. Staying in tune with the foil forests, or you know, pack one, pick one forest, however you want to say that. Same artwork on all these, right? Yeah. So we have the play set of the promo forests. Meh. Meh. All right, we're making a mess here. Making a mess, dramatically slow rolling. So that might be like a two, three dollar bill right there. So slow roll and. <sighs> Whoa! Foil alternate. Japanese Planeswalker, my boy Soren, uh, Orzov, I'm a vampire enthusiast. I love the vamp tribe. Um, rare foil, Soren, I, the rare, you know, it's, 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 it's like a $3 card. But I feel like the rare foil Japanese are just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That's a dope card, that's a dope hit. We'll zoom in, it's like not shake too much here. And actually my battery's about to die. My battery's about to die. 
uh, before my battery dies, nothing will move. Let me change my battery real quick. Okay, so battery's changed. Hopefully that was, you know, pretty seamless. We'll uh, look behind the curtain there. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's get a nice clean sleeve. Shout out to Ultra Pro. Penny sleeves. Uh, your number one source for OCD protection. Man, that's gorgeous. Wow! All right, let's go ahead and get a nice slow roll of that. Um, artwork wise, truly stunning. Oh my god. Shout out to uh, Ta Tajma. Yuki Tajma, sorry. <laughs> um, money hits. Awesome. Dude, you cannot complain at that at any means. And another one, disfigure, foil, disfigure, promo. Sure, why not? Um, man, that's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if you can get your hands on these red promo packs, I did see a bunch of them getting opened. I think like you're like one in eight to ten of getting a Japanese alternate planeswalker. I saw a couple people open them. It's a very limited pool. But out of the packs I've seen, about like seven to ten, one out, of every, one out of every seven or ten packs. Can't talk. You're going to get a foil planeswalker. One of those might be rare. Woo! Man! All right, last hit. And, okay. Embodiment of Agonies. It's a demon. It's a three-drop creature. It might have legs. Might be good. What does it do? A flying death touch. Um, embodiment of Agonies. Enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one -one counter on it for each different mana cost among non-land cards in your graveyard. Um, okay, so for example, two and a black and one and two green are different mana costs. So each different mana costs among non-land cards in your graveyard. Okay, I mean, I might get there. That might be good. That might be worth talking about, but I will take the foil Soren. Oh my goodness. Well, that'll pretty much do it. I don't wanna make this video too, too long. Um, I want to love to keep it around the elusive 10 minute mark. I don't know if we got there. It might be a little bit long, but um, you know, thank you for stopping by. Um, like I said, there's gonna be more stuff besides packing cracks very shortly, but in the meantime, shout out to all my crack packing, pack cracking heads out there. It's in Vegas right now. It's super hot right now. It's like seven o'clock, still hot. Ramping like a lunatic, getting foil Japanese promos. Shout out to Wizards of the Coast, because these are awesome. Do more of these. Um, like I said, randomly like an idiot. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, stay tuned for more. And in the meantime, my name is Dean. Catch you guys on the next video. Jindama.